Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll do our match reaction for Nigeria versus South Africa. And, of course, Ivory Coast versus uh, Zero Congo. We'll start first with Nigeria versus South Africa, man. Congrats to Nigeria, man. They made it to the final. And for South Africa, man, they, they give it a really good go, guys. I, I have to commend South Africa and say this right now. They put up a great show, you know. And Nigeria had to work through a way through. So let's go ahead and start with the first half, man. So that first half from Nigeria, it was a bit sketchy. Nigeria weren't that great in the first half, you know. Um, obviously, Osman had that chance in the 44th minute. He should have scored that chance, man. And then, obviously, Aie had that chance there. Uh, 25th minute was easily saved. And, yeah, you can tell Nigeria was struggling to get attacking opportunities. It will be had the chance at 37th minute. Great save there. And, obviously, Osman had the block. And, yeah, I would say Nigeria started off the game great. But as the game went on, you could as the first half went on, you could tell South Africa were the better team, you know. And they had that chance at the 35th minute right there. Seto Tau. Uh, Percy Tao, 28th minute, 15th minute game. So, yeah, it was a very close game the first half. And then the second half, man, all of a sudden, it started to go in Nigeria's favor. Um, And obviously, they finally, they got the, you know, they won the penalty. They won the penalty. And for me, it was definitely a penalty. Uh, Victor Osamend does very clever footwork. He bamboozles the South Africa defense. And I believe it was, I think, Mavala. I think Mavala took him down. And obviously, upstep, Trostakong. And Trostakong scores a penalty to make it 1-0. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, Nigeria should be able to see it through, right? Um, and then, obviously, they had another goal that they just scored, and then it was disallowed. Uh, because I believe there was a foul. I don't exactly. I think it was offside. I think it was offside. Let me actually check here why it was disallowed. Uh, check out of curiosity. I believe it was. I believe it didn't count because there was a, there was a, it was either disallowed or there was a foul that happened before. Let me just check right here. Just checking right here. Uh, yeah. Because the goal, okay, so yeah, goal, it, did, it doesn't say why a goal was being given. And then obviously, Percy Tao got taken down inside the box. Obviously, uh, Nigeria made a very stupid mistake. Um, Al Hassan Youssef gave us away a clumsy penalty. And obviously, Mokano scores a penalty to make it 1 1. And then, would you believe it, guys? South Africa had the chance to wrap it all up at the end. And obviously, I think it was Modoyo. He missed it, man. He missed the chance right at the end to finish it off. And had he had scored that, Nigeria would have been out. Nigeria would have been out in the AFCON. And then extra time, Nigeria kept persisting. You could tell the South Africa were being defensive. They wanted to take it through to penalties. Trusta Kong had the chance there. And then Lukman had the chance of 93rd minute. And Osman had the chance of 101st minute. And then obviously, uh, well, South Africa didn't have any shots on tar shots in the, the extra time, as you can see. Uh, second half extra time, Ian Nacho came on. And Mofi came on. Which was really interesting. I was really surprised to see Jose Pacero take uh, Victor Osman off just before the penalty shootout. Um, and I don't know why he was taken off. Maybe it was a precaution injury thing, or maybe it was a tactical decision. Up step Mofi. And I thought Mofi had a good game because actually Mofi did actually win the uh win a free kick in a dangerous position. And South Africa player, I think Kakana takes him down. It was definitely a penalty. I'm sorry, not a penalty. It was red card because it was um what's again? It was a goal. Uh, it was like a goal. It was like a last man kind of thing, right? You know, it was a you know if he hadn't taken him down, it would have been a goal scoring opportunity. So it was a clear denial goal scoring opportunity. Obviously, gets sent off. Puts out they've got a de 10 men, and they defended well. And Nigeria, man, they had to go through the penalties. And I got to say, Nigeria penalties were great, man. Mofi, man, Mofi was fantastic. You know, scored his penalty. All Nigeria's penalties were great, except uh, Ole Ian Iana. And um, you have to give credit to Nabili, man. Nabil. Like, he came a clutch, made two big saves on Mokana and Mekpo. And, yeah, I think for South Africa, man, they just really missed that chance. I think, I think South Africa, for me, they they could have finished the game off in extra the second half, man, because there is there was a chance right there because Nigeria were just hanging on, and that was a moment for South Africa because had they had scored that we could have had a very different game, but you know it is what it is. But you have to feel proud if you're from South Africa, you should feel proud making the Afcon semifinals because I think when many people were doing the predictions, I think most of us said they would go out in the round of sixteen, or um, maybe in quarterfinals. But I think round of sixteen was the general consensus for Nigeria, man. They overperformed. Obviously, they were not expected to make the final. Most of us had them going out of the round of 16, and now they were playing against Ivory Coast in the final, which we'll get on to right now. Ivory Coast won DR Congo nil. Ivory Coast, man. I, I, there's something. There's just something special with this team. Like, this team doesn't have to play well, but they some are getting it done. And I said this before, guys. I'm going to continue to reiterate this again. Ivory Coast is a team that have such an insane squad. That Look at the amount of players they could bring on. You could break Sangari. You could bring Lazare, Bemba, Crasso, Voka. I remember two players were suspended for this game. I think Diakate and Kosona were suspended for this game. Okay. As for DR Congo, they had a great, great first half. 
You know, they should have scored that goal there. Obviously, it was offside. It was disallowed. I think Bakambu scored. It wasn't given. Obviously, uh, Wisa had that chance right there in the 29th minute. But you could tell Ivory Coast were creating chances, you know. Uh, they had that chance right there in the 18th minute of the game. Uh, Sebastian Haller didn't really have a good game, even though he scored that great goal, which we'll get on to. Uh, then, obviously, Kessie hit the post right there. Very, very close attempt right there. And the 42nd minute of the game. And the second half, man, Ivory Coast were great. DR Congo really struggled in the second half. He didn't get a single shot on target. And then Holland missed up for a mess and made it up for a sitter he missed early in the game. I think it was the 68th minute. Um, no, no, it was the 65th. I'm trying to remember what it was. I know Holler missed a sitter. I'm trying to figure out where, he, where when did he miss. Yeah, it was. I think it was. Where was that? Was it in the first half? It must have been the first half. Anyways, uh, Holler scored the nice goal there. Great, great touch. And it was just very nice. It was a nice, nice finish. Uh, Grand Elk got the assist, and then Holler it got another chance there in a great position, but he tried to be clever there, and um, it just went wide, 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 71st, so many. So I just think for Ivory Coast, what the key is for them is to be clinical, because that's kind of like the big issue I have with Ivory Coast is that this team isn't really clinical in front of goal whatsoever. Um, but, you know, they got the job done, and that's all that important. So, like I said, guys, DR Congo for me, once again, very disappointing. He didn't really create any notable opportunities in the second half. I thought the first half were good, but the second half, man, they were just not that great. And so, once again, man, Sebastian Deserby, you got to stop starting Bakambu. I have said this time and time again. I don't know how many more times I keep saying this. Bakambu is terrible. Banza should be started. And yeah, I just think for uh, DR Congo, man, defensively, they were decent. Um, they didn't give Ivory Coast that much space. Uh, but ultimately, they just like the quality. They just like the quality compared to Ivory Coast, and Ivory Coast just have a superior team. And uh, they just really struggled. Um, to generate quality chances. And yeah, Ivory Coast, they had two big chances they missed, uh, and they missed both of their big chances. And yeah, for DR Congo, they only had that one really, really big chance, which I think was a, I think there was a save right there that we said had in the 29th minute. That was probably the best chance I, uh, DR Congo had. But other than that, uh, very disappointed for DR Congo. So anyways, those that's my re reaction for you guys. Just join me for my live reaction, guys, starting around 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to be breaking down the semifinals and also do a quick little preview for the finals. So join me for that. Please join a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.